My name is Fritz Schroeder. I am the director of Live Green. We're an urban greening initiative based in Lancaster City, Pennsylvania. Today we're focused almost 100% on clean water issues and the greening of Lancaster City utilizing what we call green infrastructure, which is attempting to mimic the natural environment to capture and retain stormwater in an urban setting. In the city of Lancaster, we have a combined sewer system, which means we are combining our stormwater flow with our sanitary flow, and during major rainstorms, we have a percentage of that water that flows directly into the Conestoga River, which feeds the Susquehanna, which is the largest freshwater source that feeds the Chesapeake Bay. And the EPA is asking us to come up with a strategy to reduce that 750 million gallon overflow to zero gallons. And the city has chosen a strategy that is green infrastructure based, using technologies such as green vegetated roofs, permeable paving that soaks up the storm water, rain gardens and rain barrels, more tree planting through a city street tree planting program, as well as in back, front, and side yards. We're standing on the Groffs Family Funeral Home in downtown Lancaster. This is one of nine vegetated roofs totaling over 77,000 square feet. We believe that a roof like this is capturing and retaining 50 to 70 percent of all the stormwater that falls on it. Equally as important, we're slowing down up to 90 percent of the rainfall and keeping that from rushing into the combined sewer system. One of the ways we got started with stormwater outreach on a residential level was through a rain barrel program. And through that program, over three years, we were able to distribute nearly 500 barrels total, 300 of which were in the city of Lancaster. We really try and localize the message and help people understand that we're really worried about our local waterways, we're worried about our city's sustainability and our city's natural environment, but it is important to recognize that we have a regional impact and that we have a responsibility to the Chesapeake Bay and the amazing resources that make up the Chesapeake Bay. 